Good afternoon, YouTube. Figured, uh, I made a little short the other day, just kind of making fun of splitting wood with Chris. But, uh, figured I'd make a little bit more serious one. I don't know if you guys can see, there's a split in this wood. I'll show y'all how I split wood. And I ain't gonna say it's easy, it's just the way I do it. But a lot of times there is a natural split in the wood. This one actually has two, it's got one, it makes a cross here. As you can see, it's a pretty good sized piece of wood. So I ain't putting it on anything to hold it sturdy. Uh, the smaller pieces, I got this. Uh, it's kind of buried down in the ground. Or like in the short, I was using that stump right there. But uh, if you want your wood on something solid, like I said, these are so big, I don't really have to. But it's going to kind of show you guys how I do it. And I've been doing it, uh, I'm 53, and I've been doing it pretty much my whole life. So we'll uh, get this piece set up and get the camera set up here and I'll show you guys what I do. I was just going to mention real quick, uh, this wood type is chestnut oak and it's from the red oak family. Uh, it's got a real, I don't know what you want to call it, a real thick bark on it. It's uh, kind of sticks out and got big valleys and humps in it and stuff. But uh, after it dries out, that bark comes off like this pretty easy i mean it uh, takes it a couple years to get loose where you can just peel it off but that bark will burn just as good as a piece of wood and leave you a real good hot uh, bed of ashes in your stove and uh, like i said a lot of times on days you know where it drops down real cold at night but warms up during the day and just need a fire to kind of heat the house up just real quick or something like that that bark will work great because uh, like i said it catches on fire easy and, and burns hot and makes the ash bed and oh uh, I'll burn for a while. But just wanted to mention what kind of wood this was. Don't touch it. Don't touch it. All right, guys. Like I said, right through here is my line. My split. All right, you got back up. Josie's trying to help. Oh, she sees the saw this time. All right, but uh, that's my line. And practice is a big key to this. stop on that piece right there it's uh it's first splitting it that way now i'm gonna start cutting my corners all right back up for a minute yeah, back up for a minute Got the camera in the way. There's the splitting that wood. I'm gonna back my camera up and show you a little bit on technique, or my technique anyway. Probably gonna be a little bit different for each individual person. Kind of like uh, somebody uh, hitting baseball for the bat or playing golf, things like that. Probably got a different swing. I'll show you guys my swing. All right, guys, this is gonna be my swing. Uh, one thing I need to mention is either to make sure your area is clear. You ain't got nothing over your head or nothing around you. Uh, like me, I got Josie running around, so I always got to kind of keep an eye on where she's at, especially because she wants to help all the time. But, uh, I'm gonna, this is a small piece just to show you technique. But, uh, show you guys this real quick. There you have it. That's just how I split wood. I figured I'd actually show the real video. Uh, like I said, me and Chris put out a short and we're just kind of making some fun. But, uh, 
Josie, where you at? There you go. Her wanted to say hi. You wanna say bye? And bye, say subscribe and like. Check us out on Facebook, make comments. Uh, wanna make fun of how split wood, that's fine. Uh, appreciate you guys watching. Like I said, I just wanted to put a real video out on splitting wood. Uh, this is splitting wood with them all. That's why I call it anyway. They might be a, a different term for it or different uh, crack name. I don't know. Uh, but that's what I've always known it as, uh, splitting mall. So, but hope you guys have a good day. And check us out on the next one.